As you're selecting, we'll start this again, we can click edges and we can set the radii as we go with next radius. What happens if we don't know what the radius is? We need to get it from some other object that already exists. So I'm going to turn on some other objects here and I'll start fillet edge and we want this new fillet on this box to be the same as the fillet that's over on this box because they're all part of the same complex or the same project. So when I pick next radius, I need to be able to grab that radius and find out what it is and put it in Rhino. So I could stop now and say, oh, just escape out of this command, use the radius command, write down the radius and then enter it. Or, and here's the trick, you can type in radius. Radius is a command that is nestable in V6 so that it now lets me go find any object that I want and put that radius in. So that radius of that little circle was 5.726. So when I click that edge, I get 5.726. If I want the next radius to be the same as this little fillet over here, type in radius and go find that radius, which is 2.25 and add it here, and that way you can reference other geometry to get your radii rather than just knowing what that radius is and typing it in.